Well, today we will be playing Toy Story Obstacles and Adventures, a cooperative deck building game by Disney slash Pixar from USA Athlete. So, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you a little bit about how the game works as I'm playing it. And we're going to go through in various videos, so probably six, hopefully, if I do well and win all of them, all of the boxes that come in the, the box. So what comes in the box, this is very much like the Harry Potter Hogwarts battle, which you've seen if you've watched my channel, all of those videos. Each of um, the scenarios come in their own boxes with the cards that are entailed and the items or whatever comes with that. So in this game, you'll be playing as Buzz or Woody or Bo Peep or Rex or someone else maybe in the future. But it starts with four players and four characters you can play as, but it does go to five. So spoiler alert, there is a fifth character that you'll get um, in the second box. I wanted to kind of give you an idea of how this works, uh, what the differences are from Harry Potter and anything that I can remember at least that are differences. The deck builder, you have a tableau that you're buying from, you'll add it to your deck, you'll then shuffle it into, you know, put it in discard pile, shuffle it in, you'll be able to draw it, you'll play it, etc. There are two types of currency in this game. There is what's considered the purchasing currency, the money, which is the uh, play balls. And there is the power or the attack or the damage or whatever you want to call it. And that is the uh, Luxo light bulbs. So that's how the game's gonna work. It functions very much like Harry Potter. Under the differences though is you're playing on a scenario map each time. There's one that's for each of the games. So it says Adventure 1 and there's two different sides. One for two to three players and one for four to five players. I think only four players in this one because there's not supposed to be a fifth player in the first scenario but regardless of that I think it says four to five anyway. You have a little token that you be moving up and down the track. This is very similar to how you would do Harry Potter, but you would try basically lose a location, go to a harder location, etc. This is only ever one location, and it's, it's thick cardboard, um, the thick cardboard folding cardboard thing. Um, and it's sort of like a maze that you kind of go start the first one. When you change, when it says move the token, you move it forward, move it forward, etc. In this one, you'll only ever be doing one draw from the danger deck, which is this, but other scenarios, once they get further and closer to the end, you may get to be drawing two, etc., that kind of thing. The idea here is you don't want to make it all the way to Sid's house. I think that represents Sid's house in this game. And if you leave um, Andy's house and get all the way to Sid's house, you lose because he'll have you forever in his uh, menagerie of broken and weird toys that he's built and all that fun stuff. So don't do that, right? You want to avoid uh, want to avoid Sid's house. Uh, but it's a regular deck builder. You have 10 cards in your deck. You shuffle them up. You draw five. You play the cards. You get the currencies that you, you need. You buy the cards. The purchase cost of each of the cards and the purchasing tableaus at the bottom. You see this one costs eight. It's an item. They have different keywords, everything else. But one of the most thankful additions to this game that has seemingly so far for me at least been a huge benefit to how this game functions and how I think it's going to benefit how much I enjoy this game especially in the later scenarios is when you draw a card to replace a card or when you're seating the board to initially put the shop out here this little area the adventures I guess if you have a duplicate exact card you put it on top. So I have two trait cooperative cards. They stack up. Now you might be thinking, okay, well that means when you buy a trait cooperative card, you have to buy another one before that it's empty. True. Yes, that is true. But if you see the board early on with a bunch of very small, low level cards, you're also going to see some high level cards, the more unique, the more rare cards in addition to that. So there's more variety of purchasing. You've always got six different types of cards you can buy, not just maybe six of all the same basic card and you're waiting for a better card to come out. That's awesome. That's a huge difference and it's a very smart difference and make sure if you're playing this game that you know that that's the rule because that does come into play. It's a very important thing that you make sure that you're doing because it helps with the purchasing of the cards that are out there. Now, in the first scenario, we have one of these obstacle cards that is all is out. Uh, we have slots for three, but we're only gonna have one during this first uh, scenario. 
the first adventure, and it's called Diffuse the Big One. It's a hazard. They're called hazards. Um, when a danger or hazard, a danger or hazard card causes a toy, which we're toys, um, you're a toy is what they call these cards, like your little like player character cards. As you can see, there's just a little quote on it. Later on in different scenarios, this may have an ability on it. Spoilers. Um, but it says, when a danger or hazard causes a toy to discard a card, that toy loses one health. And your reward for beating it, and this is going to take seven of the light, uh, the lamps or the um, damage or fight or power, or whatever you want to call it. Um, once there's seven on this, it will be defeated, and you discard it, and all toys draw a card. Move the token back one space. Okay? We have 10 health. Once you get down to your zero health, instead of being um, knocked out, which is sort of like the Harry Potter, you're shelved. You're put on the shelf. But the idea, the concept of what happens is pretty much the exact same thing as what happened in Harry Potter. If you become shelved, you discard all of the chips that you had, any power that you had gotten from somebody else's turn, if you had gotten any, they all go away. You advance the token one space on the map, and you discard down half of your hand rounded down. So if you have five cards, you would discard two of them, so you have three remaining. And you can't gain health, but at the end of that turn, you go back to 10. So the biggest problem here is the map, you're gonna move around there, and you're gonna discard some cards. Basically the exact same thing as how it worked in the Harry Potter deck building game. So that's good to know. I've chosen to always play this as two player as I'm gonna go through the scenarios. I may change the toys that I play as, but I'm always gonna play it two player. It's just easier for me to keep track of. And quite frankly, it's an easier game. Now I like the fact that in this game, two to three and then four to five have different maps. In Harry Potter, if you play with five players, you have the same scenario, same bad stuff, same everything as you would with two players. And it was a much harder game the more players you had. This, if it's two, two, three, so this one's scenario is, you know, lower player count, more actions are gonna happen, so it's easier to lose, quote unquote, it's gonna go faster. And that is the same flip side for, um, if you're playing four or five players, it's maybe a little, little longer of a trail, so that way you have more turns, you can actually make stuff happen and build your deck up. In a deck building game, it's about getting good cards into your deck, and it takes time to do that. So the longer the game is, the better it benefits a longer player game, because for each player, they're only going to go once every four times. In this, I would go twice every four times, for each if I was to playing just Woody. I'd be going two for every four times. In a four-player game, I'd be going one time for every four times that somebody goes. So that's the thing to keep in mind. I'm keeping the uh, decks off the um, um, side of the board just so I could kind of zoom in and get a better visual. I didn't want to do the handheld since I'll be shuffling decks a lot. Uh, but they're over here, trust me. And I will try to put the cards that I've drawn for like Woody for his five cards here and for Buzz here. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. I'll try to splay them out and that you'll see the hands as we go. And I'm going to hopefully not forget that it's Woody's and then Buzz and then Woody's and then Buzz back and forth. I'll do my best. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So the way that you play the game, we have a little turn order card which you have one of those for every player, so you just look at that, what's turn order. First thing is, well, you have to draw up your deck. So I'm gonna draw five cards. So it's five cards in your hand, and I'll try to sort them for Woody. So we've got, um, and I'll show them probably the first time, and I won't show them much after that, like up to the camera this way. I've got playful trait. So you got a bunch of these. These are like your basic money cards. And then I got an item card for Woody, which is a specific to him. As you see at the bottom, it says Woody. This is his Woody starting deck, so that's what goes in his deck. And it's the cowboy hat. You would get some money. So basically, he's got four money cards. So I kind of just splay them together since they're all the same, leaving one on top so you can see what it does. And then the cowboy hat. So let's move Buzz up. We need to also have Buzz's hand um, drawn when we start the game, just in case anything comes from each other player. He's also got the playful trait, and wow, well, that's easy to, to see. He literally has five of the same card. So we'll just put that right there. So we start the turn, reveal and resolve danger cards. So we're gonna draw one, which is what the map says. So we're gonna draw one, and it says, afraid of heights, advance token, one space. So the token is gonna go here, and that's it, because now we look down and see resolve the hazard. It says, when a danger or hazard causes a, to a card, excuse me, a toy to discard a card, it didn't, so no effect. Then we go and take our actions and do our turn. So we have four money, four of the, the balls, gain one, so that'd be five. And if we buy an army man, they cost one less. So I have five. I could buy the medic army man, choose. 
Uh, its card says choose, gain two uh, health, or all toys gain one. And the first time another player, to another toy plays an army man on their turn, reveal this, and all toys gain one. So the army men are like cooperatively helping each other. So they're like, if you have one and your your teammates have one, they all have one. Stuff happens as they're in their hands. Um, we've got the Pizza Planet truck, which is way too expensive, but that's a great one. Um, we have friend uh, here is legs. Gain one money. If you discard this, you and your neighbors each gain one. So, like, if you're forced to discard it, you get money. We have two of these cooperative cards under here. I know that because I've stacked them. Any toy gains two health. If it's your neighbor, and your neighbor's always pushing to your left or your right. In this case, your neighbor's always going to be your other player because it's just two players. Baby head is gain one health. So, all of these are health gaining cards um, or money gaining cards. So, I think what I'll do is get the toy chest because it's going to gain two or draw a card, which will be helpful. Um, in the game. So this goes by discard pile again. I'm going to keep that off the camera just to save space. You don't refresh until the end of your turn. And I have two money remaining. Huh. I think I'll gain baby head. So my turn's over. I discard my hand. I draw back up. So it's got to be five cards because I have ten to start with. I have playful, playful, playful. So I have basically you'll see I have Seven playful cards and three unique cards. Here's my sheriff badge. Gain one fight, or that's what I'm gonna call it anyway. The lamp, the lamp. For each army man play this turn, gain one uh, money. Then I have the army man sarge. Choose one, gain a fight or gain two health, and then three playful cards. I'm not gonna really explain them as much as I draw them um, from now on, but just so you know, that's what I drew. Um, so now we refresh. Spontaneous, choose one, which is one of each of the things, which is nice. And we have hand, which is gain uh, lamp, which is great. So we need to start attacking, right? We gotta attack to get rid of all these. Um, you're trying to get to the bottom card, which is always the same for each of the scenarios. What I mean by that is in the first scenario, it's always Sid. In the second scenario, it's always X. In the third scenario, it's always another one. So you're always getting to that bottom one to fight, whatever that is. In this case, we gotta get to the bottom, fight Sid, and then we win if we're able to defeat Sid. So, here we go, starting a turn for Buzz. Active toy loses two health. One, two drops. Again, the, the fuse, the big one is when a danger or hazard causes a toy to discard a card, which we did not, so it doesn't affect anything. As I said earlier, we have five money for Buzz. So, okay, you can play the game where when you're getting them, you take, you know, you turn them in for the stuff and you put them on your player character. I won't be doing that until I get to the point where I can't remember it, or if it's gonna be something that if Buzz gave Woody some, I'll put it on there to remember on his turn he has them. So I'm not gonna necessarily be doing that, but you can. That's sort of how the game's supposed to work. It just takes a lot more time for me to do the head at that stuff than just do the math in my head how many cards I have, or how many money I have, et cetera. So I have five money to buy any card I really want. I'm gonna buy the Medic Army Man because I wanna have Army Men. Uh, Woody's got Army Men. We're all gonna be happy with Army Men. And that's going to give us something to do. So I'm going to draw back up, and I've got to shuffle, or excuse me, uh, draw back up my hand. So I got a playful, a space alien, a space ship, and there should be another playful and a laser light. So let's show these real quick. So laser light is Buzz. It's a fight. If you play another item, also gain a money. We have a friend, the space alien. Choose one. It's a fight or health, and then we have a spaceship which is one money. You may put any items you require on top of your deck. So sort of Buzz likes to get items. He likes to have, you know, lasers and guns and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Maybe that's sort of his theme. So Woody's turn again, we're gonna draw a danger card. Advance a token one space. So it just goes one more again. Again, the hazard doesn't affect us. We have three money. We can choose to gain one money or two health, which we are at full, so we don't want to gain the health from the Iron Man. The item is gain one damage, and for each army man play this turn, gain one money. So that's going to be one money, two, three, four, because we did play an army man. So that's four money and two fights. So we're going to take the two fight and apply it directly to the hazard. Now, I will say one of the problems I have with this game, these are great. I love them. They're fantastic, but they're big. And when you start stacking them, they're also hard to count. Uh, the other game, uh, they're a little bit smaller, so you kind of know how many you had on there. It was easier to count them. This, they're going to start stacking up on top of each other. Because they're awkwardly shaped, they kind of kind of blend in. It's not that big a deal, but when I get to seven, you'll kind of see it's hard on the camera to just count how many are just sitting there by visually looking at it. I have to kind of look and count by hand each time. Regardless of that, I've got four money, and I think I'll buy a ham for four. I will refresh. It's Troikas, which will then, like I said, stacks on Troikas. Gives us another one. 
which is the end of the toy chest. That's what I'm saying about how it's beneficial for um, getting a variety of different things that you can buy at a variety of different costs for cards, because like if they're all Troikas, they all cost four. Well, if I want a two or a three, well, in a regular Harry Potter game, I'll just have two Troikas out there kind of just being in the way. Now I have the ability to draw another item, which is the toy chest. So I've got five cards that I've drawn for Woody's next hand. We've got Playful, 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 and we've got Sarge and the Sheriff's Badge. So let's just stack the Playful cards together, and we've got those two there. It's now Buzz's turn. We're going to draw a Danger card. Argue with a friend. Active toy and their neighbors. Each discard a card and cannot draw extra cards this turn. So they're each going to discard a card. We're going to discard a Playful and a Playful. Okay. But remember, when a danger hazard causes a toy to discard a card, that toy loses one health. So each of them has to lose one health because they discarded a card because of a danger card. So the hazard finally came into play. Now it is Buzz's turn. He has one money, two money. If I get a uh, item, I can put it on top of my deck instead of my discard pile. But right now I've got um, one fight. If I play another item, which I did, so I'm going to have three money and two fights. I'm not going to gain the health right now. So the two fight is going to go on to the hazard. So now it's at, um, it'll be at four. And with the two, oh, excuse me, three money, if I buy an item, it can go on top of my deck. So I will choose to buy the toy chest to put on top of my deck, which currently is at no card. So I know I'm drawing it next turn. So that's the end of his turn. We'll shuffle our discard pile. We'll replace that card. Something that is nice, but also something to keep in mind when you're um, refilling the toy cards, or the adventure cards, excuse me, um, the aliens all kind of look the same. So pay attention to that when you are... Oh, that should not have been drawn. because I forgot to put my one that I just bought there. So that should have been there. Sorry about that. That was just me talking while I was trying to shuffle. But what I mean by that is they all kind of look the same. They're, you know, they're different, but there's some that look a lot similar to that. Be careful that you do stack them if they're the same, but only stack them if they're the exact same card, not if they're similar. Like you can't just put all the traits on top of each other. Danger card for Woody is active toy two, loses two unless they discard a friend. Well, I could discard the armor man, but I'm just gonna lose two because I don't necessarily want to discard because even if I discard it, I'll have to lose one because of the hazard. And that would be stupid to do that. If I'm already gonna lose one, I might as well just lose two. Since I'm only at seven, the both guys that are at seven, we're okay there. I've got two money, but I have one fight, and I'll have another one because I'm playing a, uh, uh, another money. So I have three money and two fight. So I'll definitely put the two fight on to defuse the big one. So now it's at six. So now you're starting to see where I was saying, when you start stacking them, there's just not enough room. You kind of have to really count what's going on there. But three money, I'll buy enthusiastic. I'll replace. And that is the end of Woody's turn. Draw back up five, so a playful, a baby head, hand, a playful, and a playful. And down Buzz's turn, danger, active toy on the neighbors, neighbors each discard a card and cannot draw extra cards. So he's gonna lose one health because each had to discard one card, so I'll go ahead and do the health now. Now I'll discard a playful from Buzz and a playful from Woody. Now I'm doing that just because I, I, you know, I'm not really want to think about it. It's not that difficult right now, but you might want to discard something else if you need the money and you could do the math on how much money you need to buy things. I'm just not doing that right now. So keep that in mind. And I did the, the losing a health because of discarding, so I did that already. So it's Buzz's turn. He's got, uh, I can choose one, gain two, or draw a card. I can choose one, gain two, or all toys gain one. Why don't we do all toys gain one? Did I play? An army man. I did play an army man. First time another player plays an army man on their turn, reveal this, and all toys gain one. So I should have done that with my medic. So now I'm going to do it, the, his actual power. So the medic lets, if somebody else plays an army man, I can reveal him, which I would have. Again, playing as two characters is a little bit more difficult sometimes because you have to think about both things at once. Uh, but that's just me not remembering. So one, two, I could draw a card, or I could get four, and the item I get could go on top of my deck. Make copy the effect, 
a friend you play this turn, or you can choose lose two to copy the effect of a neighbor friend. Hmm. Or I would have one, two. I'll do one, two and draw a card with a toy chest. So I have three. So with that three money, I think I'm just going to buy Spontaneous because it's going to be able to give me potentially a fight um, when I need it. And there's Cautious, so that's that's a good one to buy later. Um, you kind of want fight. Fight's going to get the solve the problems that you have, defeat the hazards. Without defeating the hazards, you can't win. <laughs> well, I've drawn four Playfuls and a Laser Light. So this one's still out there because I only have six, but now it is the turn of Woody. So we're going to draw. Active toy loses two unless they discard an item. Again, I don't have any items, but if I were to discard an item, I'd still lose one health. Might as well just lose the two health, and that'd be that. Uh, gain one fight. So we're gonna gain one fight, and we're gonna apply it to this one, making it seven. So we're gonna take them all off. Reward. All toys draw a card and move the token back one space. Back one space. Draw a card for here. It's a third playful. Draw a card for Buzz. It's a space alien. So that was this card that I used. I got the one there. Gain one. And then... So I gain one health. Then I have three money. Uh, and from what I remember... I'm going to double check. But I believe this is the same as... The hazards. If you defeat a hazard... You defeat a hazard. Yes, it discards, but you don't replace it till the end of your turn. So it's going to be empty for now. So you can't like start working on the next one. Um, and what did I say? I had three money. Uh, let's go cooperative. Now I don't replace because there's still another cooperative card there. That is that. I will need to shuffle the deck, so or discard, excuse me, so let me do that. So I can draw like that. Three, four, and you can't see it, but it's a playful card, so let's just kind of put it up there. And we need a new hazard out. This new hazard is Struggle with Jealousy, Active Toy, loses one health, and Reward is all toys gain one money and a health, and it's going to take six to defeat it. But it's Buzz's turn, and we need to draw a Danger card. Playtime with Sid, Active Toy loses one in advance token, one space. And then we go to the Hazard, Active Toy loses one. So he's down to six. We have three money. We can choose one, a fight. Um... I don't have another item to play, so I'm just going to choose to gain two fight, which I will go ahead and apply to struggling with jealousy. Three fight. Or three money, excuse me, three money. I'll take legs. No, I'll take cooperative. I'll take cooperative. That'll be that. I have one money left, but nothing costs one. I'll need to shuffle, but go ahead and we'll go ahead and replace this one. Enthusiastic, which is a great one, which is a fight and a health. I kind of wanted to get rid of the cooperative, cooperate ones because the cooperate cards are nice, but I don't necessarily want those to be the cheap cards I can buy. I wanted a better cheap card. Enthusiastic is much better of a cheap card. And three cards, four cards, five cards. And again, I apologize that I zoomed in so you could better be able to read these cards, but then I also have you know, no less space, so hopefully it's still uh, a wash as far as how good this is. Drawing for uh, Woody. All toys lose one health. Boom, boom. And now the hazard. Active toy loses one. So now they're both sitting at five, which is now getting a more stressful situation. But we have a baby head that's going to gain one health. We have gain one money, gain one money, so two money. I could have four, and army men would cost one less, so I'm going to use the money right now and go ahead and buy the medic army man. Get that already purchased. And now I'll deal with the one um, fight that I have, which I'll go ahead and apply to struggling with jealousy. That'll be Woody's turn. Replace. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We've got an enthusiastic, we have a cooperative, we have playful, playful, and a playful. It's about this turn to draw. Active Toy loses two unless they discard a trait. Don't have a trait. Well, I do have a trait. I have multiple traits. So I'll be losing one, two, three. I'd be down two. Or I could discard playful. Let's just discard playful. And then I'll just use the one for the active toy losing one. I'm going to use spontaneous for a fight. A fight. And I'll have one, two, three money. And any item I gain, I can put on my top of my deck. But one, two, three money can use me to buy Enthusiastic. And what I say, I had one, two fights, so I'll put those. We're one away from defeating Struggling with Jealousy. So we'll draw five. One, two, three, four, five for Buzz. Toy Chest, we have a Playful, Playful, Playful. And now we have a Medic, which is nice. We'll replace the card that we purchased. Now we have another Cooperative card. Now it's Woody's turn again to draw. Active player loses one. Move that up one, and we'll actually be losing two total because of one here, one here. Now we have three money. Any one toy gains two, and we gain a, if it's a neighbor, which we're gonna give it to Buzz, so we have one, two, three, four money. We're gonna gain one from this and gain a fight, which will defeat the struggling with jealousy. So we have four money. We'll have a fifth, and Buzz is getting one because it's all toys gain one and a health. So we have three, four, and a fifth money this turn. And that five money we'll use to buy Cautious for four. End of our turn, draw back up, discard our hand, draw five, one, two, three, four, five, which is exactly the right number of cards, so I don't have to shuffle. We've got three playful cards, a sheriff and an army man, the Sarge. Now we have to replace the hazard. This hazard now is Trapped in a crate. It is. Toys cannot draw extra cards. All toys draw a card for the um, reward. They're only going to take five to defeat it. It's Buzz's turn. We're going to draw a card for Buzz. Active toy loses two health. Down to five. We have three fight. Um, I can either choose to gain two or gain one for all toys. Let's do, first let's draw our card from the toy chest. It's another playful. Let's do one for each toy. And then we have one, two, three, four, uh, purchasing power, which we will purchase um, enthusiastic. Now, Lenny is a great one because he lets you move the token back one. I don't think the token is going to make it all the way to the end, so I don't think we're going to lose because of that. Um, and I think the fight that this card will provide me will be better to actually defeat the hazards and win. But this one's kind of cool because you also have to look at the top card of the danger deck and either put it back on or just discard it. So if you think it's going to like lose the game for you or hurt your guy and shelve them, it may be a good idea to use Lenny as that lookout. But I think we're going to be okay. This is definitely the first adventure. It's meant to be easy. It's meant to kind of teach you the game and the basics. Um, there's really not much going on. There's only one hazard, all that fun stuff. And no matter how far the tracker gets, you're only ever drawing one danger card. So there's that. So we have a playful. So if you know what a playful does, I'm going to put cooperative on top of it. Space Alien, we have Spaceship, and then we have Enthusiastic. And we had one extra money, but I didn't use it, so that was me just forgetting that I had one extra money, but I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think we want to use it anyway. We do buy a Recon Expert Army Man. So maybe I could have bought something else, not going to worry about it. The game's going to be over soon enough anyway, I believe. So it's Woody's turn. We're going to draw a danger card. All toys lose one. Well, we just gained one back, so that's okay. Remember, we can't draw extra cards, which I think I just did last turn. So that's where that one... <laughs> pretty sure I just drew extra cards that one time. So that's where the one that I didn't use. So we'll say that that was my fix for that. I apologize. Actually, why don't I just discard one card from my hand? I know I'll do the, this one to make it a little more even. Sorry about that. That was my fault for not remembering the uh, trapped in a crate. So I should not have drawn that card. Anyway, background. Okay, so it is Woody's turn still. We have three money. We can choose to gain a fight. We can choose to gain another fight. For each armament played this turn, gain one. So we'll have four money and two fights. So let's, do, let's go ahead and use the fight and the four money. 
why don't we just buy Lenny? We kept talking about how Lenny's such a good card. It doesn't hurt to buy Lenny. Lenny, you're going to be a part of my team. We got Cautious. Cautious is a fantastic card. It's four bucks for two fight. Really good card. I like it. It doesn't really make sense why you're cautious, but you're also able to defeat hazards. But technically, um, the lights are called insight, and then the money is called imagination. So you're like bringing your friends to life with your imagination, which is how you're buying the cards, and you're gaining insight on the hazards of being a toy, uh, which is how you defeat the hazards or something. I don't really know the story, but it is fun. So two playful cards. We have our Lenny card, and we have a Sarge, and we have the baby head. It is Buzz's turn. We're down to the end of this deck, so it just means you're going to reshuffle the deck if you need to. So active toy loses two. Again, we can't draw extra cards. Any toy gains two. If it's a neighbor, get one health or one money. Why don't we do that? So let's give him, and we'll take the one for being helpful. Uh, choose to gain one damage token. I'm putting it on here just to kind of see how it goes. Get one money, get one health, and one fight. So we have two money, and if we buy an item, we can go on top of our deck. We have two money, we can buy either legs or cooperative. At this point in the game, this close to the end, I don't want to fill up my deck with cards that I don't want to draw or use, so I'm actually not going to purchase anything. They would go away if I don't use them at the end of the turn, so I'm going to discard them now. But the two fight will go here. I'm one away from defeating that hazard, and we'll draw back up. So at a certain point in any deck building game, you kind of have the deck that you want or need for the end of the game. You don't want to buy more cards just to have them and buy them for no reason. So that's what I'm saying. I'm stopping buying for him. Now it's Woody's turn, so we need to shuffle. And I need to remember, I have a medic and we have Sarge. So when Sarge is played, I can then reveal um, the medic so that all players gain a health. So I will do that in a second. But the danger card is... Active toy loses two unless they discard a trait. Well, we'll just lose the two. Remember, we can't draw extra cards. We'll start off by doing gain one health. We'll choose one. We'll gain the fight, which we'll go ahead and apply. But when we did that, all toys gain one health because we're a medic. And we're defeating this hazard now, which all toys gain one. Uh, all toys gain one. Let me see something really quick. Sorry, I'm looking at the rules. Yeah, you immediately gain a reward of the highs. So all toys are going to draw one card. Adding a toy chest and adding a playful card. So technically, I can move the token back one space and I'll look at the danger card for Buzz. Active toy and their neighbors each discard a card and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Mm. He's not going to have him draw cards anyway. We'll just leave it there. And remember, if I have any tokens, they would go away. So I don't really want to gain any more fights. So I'm just going to lose or use this to gain the money rather than draw a card, which could give me fight that I can't use anyway. So two, three, four money. And I'll buy Cautious. Let me just go to my discard pile. Draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're about to see what Sid, or the final um, hazard, three playful cards, cowboy hat in hand, looks like. So before we draw that, I'm just going to show you. So it says, Escape from Sid. Each time the token is advanced, all toys lose two health. It's like, oh man, you better get this done or else you're going to lose. So keep that in mind. And the danger we draw is active toy and our neighbors discard a card. So we're going to discard a playful from Woody and a playful from Buzz. And Buzz will have three money. I can gain two or give all toys one health. Well, he's up there, so we're just going to gain two ourselves. We'll gain one. We don't have another item, so we're going to have three money. We'll have one fight added to Escape from Sid. I don't think we're going to buy anything because nothing's going to give us fight. Now I can, on my turn, dump all of this as many as I want and put it under the deck and draw new cards if I don't buy anything. So if you ever choose one time during the game to not buy anything, you can instead dump the cards and 
draw over again. So let me double check that that rule is how I set it. Reminders. Uh, I think that was what I read somewhere. Sorry, I want to make sure that I said that right. Okay, give me a second, because I know I read that somewhere, and now I'm confused. <laughs> I apologize for taking so long. Playing card for delivery, I've ever read any of the cards. Okay. Playing six new adventure cards, you can acquire multiples. Okay, still, still, once per game, anyone told me I forgo acquiring cards to place all the other cards on the bottom, so I have to go all of them. I mean, we're going to cards, so let me do that. Since none of these are going to be one to be bought anytime soon, let's just dump them all for Buzz's turn to see if he even wants him. Or excuse me, for, for Woody's turn, because we're on Buzz's turn right now. And that way you guys can see more of the cards in the game. Wow, that's a bunch of toy chests. That is a bunch of toy chests. So there you go, so there's more cards that you can see for the game. Um, but we already did all of, of his turns. We had money, but we can't spend it because we decided not to buy anything. All right, draw the cup. One, two, three, four, five. It is spontaneous, very playful. I have a toy chest, enthusiastic and playful. Now it's Woody's turn. We draw active toy in our neighbors. Each discard a card and cannot draw new cards. Um, so we're gonna do that again. So let's discard playful and another playful. So now we have three cards in our hand for uh, Woody. So it's one of those is a fight, which is great. And we have one, two money, but it says with ham, you can keep all of these tokens at the end of your turn. So we're just gonna keep those two. So maybe we can buy something great next time. Discard, draw back up. One, two, three, four, five. We have a playful, a playful, a cautious, a badge and an army man. It is Buzz's turn. Active toy, uh, toy loses two. We'll just lose the two. We don't want to discard any cards. We also don't have any friends to discard if we wanted to. Uh, we have a playful. So why don't we um, use the toy chest to draw a card, which means we have to shuffle our discard pile to draw. Space alien. So we'll get one, two, three fight one health and one money. So the one money's not gonna help do us any good, but the three fight will make us three away from escaping from Sid. That's a good turn. One, two, three, four, five. We'll draw back up. We've got playful, playful, cooperative, enthusiastic, and a spaceship. It's now Woody's turn to draw. I can token advance one space. Each time the token is advanced, all toys lose two health. Ooh, dangerous. Um, we have two fight, three fight. How many do we need? We needed three. So we'll do the three fight again. We're not gonna do anything else, but we could have gained two health or each of the toys gained one. We'll do that. Three health, or three, excuse me, three fight applied, making this eight. And the reward is of course that the toys win. So we have defeated 
or Escape from Sid. That is the game. That's how this game works. This is game one. Again, uh, this is the basics. It isn't an easy game. Uh, even with the basics, we got halfway to being a uh, defeat. Um, but it's a fun game. I really like this. I'll be coming back to do all of the six adventures in the box. Um, hopefully with as much success as I had this time. Like I said, I will change up the different characters I play. For the most part, their starter decks are pretty similar. Um, same style of deck, cards, you have to play for cards, etc. You got a friend, you have different things. But they are built just differently. So they are different enough that if you play with different characters, you may have different sort of strategies. Once we get to their, you're just a toy, um, or you're a toy cards, they may have abilities, which will also make them more unique to play as. So keep that in mind if we ever get to that, um, or if you stick around long enough to watch those videos. But for now, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching, and look forward to more Toy Story fun soon.